top floor, broken fittings, pigeon poop, and all kinds of danger. Before starting work, Adam secures the car at the top of the shaft. We can't rush it. We don't want to be, you know, doing anything without being in total and absolute control of what's going on. It's nasty. If something goes wrong, somebody could get killed here. Elevators are designed not to fall. Fortunately, the Mythbusters wrote the book on disabling safety systems. First up, the emergency brake. When the balls spin around too fast, if the elevator's falling, they lift up and drive out the two brakes. So what you're trying to say is you take the balls off and don't work no more, right? You got it. <laughs> Let's see. Anticlimactically enough, I believe I've disabled the entire mechanism by removing this simple pin. Well, OK. They're not in free fall mode yet. As well as being cabled to a winch, elevator cars are also linked to a counterweight, which weighs about the same as the car when half full. That keeps the system in balance, and the car won't fall. That counterweight just has to go. We are cutting the cable. Stand by. Just the last lonely winch cables left. And with the car lowered back to the basement for safety, Adam is about to sabotage those two. This is a 10,000 pound movie special effects quick release. I'm going to attach it to this really big shackle. And when we get upstairs, we'll be able to pull a pin and this whole car will drop. You know, working with these dirty cables, I can't tell you how hard it is not to touch Jamie's white shirt. I just want to touch it, make it dirty. All right. You're ready to take tension on this, Jamie. OK. The quick release is attached and holding. Beautiful. The star of the show has been roused from his luxury trailer. This promises to be the sorriest chapter in Buster's tragically accident-prone life. He'll ride that car down nine floors, sitting on a pogo stick. OK, Buster, this won't hurt a bit. Adam's tying off a trip line at the top of the shaft. That will pull the release on the launcher when the elevator's six feet from the bottom. Looks about perfect to me. OK, the rig is stationary. It's ready for The Mythbusters are ready. They've built a giant pogo stick and made a death trap out of a previously safe elevator. As Buster rises towards the penthouse, he surely knows the outhouse will follow. But could he somehow survive? We're about to drop an elevator. I'm beside myself. It's all going to be over in a few seconds. And with a big boom, what else can we ask for? I think Buster's toast. But then that's his job. Not a good omen, but it's time for the great elevator drop. Can Buster survive a 90-foot fall if he jumps at the last second? Jamie and the team are in the basement. Adam's up top, quick release in hand. I'm terrified. I'm totally excited. <sighs> All right, here we go. Ready to drop in five, four, three, two. Of air. Oh, no. 
The overhead camera shows Buster's pogo stick launched right on cue. But did it save him? <laughs> Talk about a really bust of air. Yeah. <laughs> His head's gone. <laughs> we've got an arm. <laughs> This, I believe this is a, this is more damage than we've ever done to Buster in one myth before. Hey, Adam, I think Buster feels good about a job well done, and he just hopes that we don't put his head on backwards. By the bottom of the shaft, the elevator and Buster were falling at 53 miles an hour. Buster jumped up at three feet per second, or two miles an hour, enough to hit the roof, but he still hit the ground at a fatal 51 miles an hour. I don't know if we can put him back together. Yeah, Scotty can do it. He can rebuild him. <laughs> Come on. Out of the <sighs> Buster will be repaired, but if he was smashed to pieces, how did that elevator operator survive her plunge in the Empire State Building from 10 times the height? Turns out the car was a tight fit inside the shaft, so trapped a cushion of air beneath it. And the cable hanging below coiled into a kind of spring as it fell. Those two factors slowed the car enough to save her life. Alas, fate was not so kind to Buster. Well, you know, you might be weightless relative to the elevator, but you and the elevator are going down at 53 miles an hour. So unless you can jump up at 53 miles per hour, you're dead. I think we've done all that we can here. I think this myth is definitively and finally busted. Yeah, it was fun though. <laughs> <laughs>